adjust your unionization. Yeah, I just, I can't, it doesn't make sense because the, the reason why we make so much money or we have the potential to make so much money is because we get paid by the claim, right? So in, or, in order for an individual adjuster to make more money, all they got to do is be more efficient, right? Yeah. I don't see how a union comes into that scenario. I'm not sure how they could possibly take a guy like me or you. I mean, 1099, I mean, yeah. Was... Well, you know, I would close on a hailstorm. My goal was to close seven to nine of those a day. Yeah. A day closed on site, right? And in the middle of summer, you can do it. You know, people are, I'm going to get a little bit of grief in the comments about this, but it's true. And it didn't matter if, and when I first started, I was doing with State Farm and we did, I wrote all the checks. I had to handwrite the file. I, you know, everything in the file except for the estimate, we got, when I started, we had Xactimate, which was not long after Xactimate came around. Um, and, Took Polaroids, oh, photos, oh my God. and this is a state farm, <laughs> yeah. right? So it, it's it's not like there's there was no compliance, right? Like everybody complains about the compliance with State Farm these days, you know, all the, the admin stuff that you got to do in ECS and every you know every click, whatever that it's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it it didn't matter. You learn the system and you become efficient in it, and you figure out you you put your brain, your intelligence into like how can I take this process it takes me 12 minutes and make it and have it take me seven minutes right on this one thing and just keep doing that with all the things and pretty soon you're knocked off eight claims in a day and you're like holy smokes i did it yeah right yeah absolutely um but so within unions what, what's the union gonna do for I, me that i truly don't know are they gonna I, negotiate the wage like the fee schedule yeah and i've i've gone through comments i mean i've weeded through them prior to this conversation and a lot of people are not for it, regardless of whether or not right. they think it. It's it's like a yearly question. I think when times are bad, people kind of resort yeah. to, hey, you know, should we get a union? And the answer is, for me, I, I I don't think so. I think a better idea is a trade association, NACA, right? Oh, yeah. Going to NACA, going to PLRB, yeah. um, just going to conferences and networking is so imperative. Yeah. Um, there is a Facebook group called IA Fee Schedules, which people can see the fee schedules before they take them. Uh, I do suggest just hopping in there. You know, I, I, every year I try to post like, hey, you know what? These are the fee schedules out there. It's up to you if you take them or not. But my buddy Aaron Berkowitz will tell you firsthand. And he's one of the most successful adjusters I know and talks a lot of crap, but he can back it up. Yeah. Is that the fee schedules at the end of the day, to a degree, do not matter when you've got the volume in place. I mean, if you're let's say you've got a bad fee schedule and you've got 100 claims from it. Is it better than getting a good fee schedule with 10 claims, which I have unfortunately been on the receiving end of? Yeah. It made more sense to take a worse fee schedule in that for scenario. Sure. So. For sure. Yeah. And that's that that was kind of my philosophy. I it was it's always been a volume play. I'll take the work and make six figures, but I'm gonna close 700. 1100 claims in a year. Yeah. How That's, long am I going to be out there for too is yeah. another question. Am I going to be there out a couple of weeks? Are you going to give me enough for a couple of weeks or is it going to be a couple of days? Yeah. Or on the state farm side, are you going to give me any at all? Am I just <laughs> driving out there to make no money? It's, it is a real problem. Uh, it doesn't happen to me because I think I do my research prior to an event, but you just never know. You could be on the receiving end to something that isn't good for you. Yeah. The answer to this question is it really should be a depends, right? So in yes. other words, you know, should you, and this is a different question than the union question, but, but we're kind of talking about fee schedules, right? So should you try to negotiate? Should you try to like pick firms based on, you know, or the, you know, the work at a firm based on what carriers they have and what their fee schedules are, right? How many years of experience do you have as well? Is it something like you've got, that's like the me, number do you one. have eight or like somebody else, are you just breaking into this yeah. industry and need something? You got to. So that's then that's the answer to the question is if your brand's making new, do you not listen to anybody on Facebook telling you to like, you know, first find out how much you're going to pay you. Just say yes. Get out there. Get your feet wet. Get on the boards. Start figuring this out. If you don't, if it costs you money to do it, you, you don't learn something. It's a, it's a real thing. You may come out of the neg into the negative. I mean, it just depends on are not you leaving a good likely job? if if a person, I would say this, if if a person, if this clicks with them and they do the prep work beforehand, they get prep work. Yes. Yeah, they oh, get trained up. They get exactimate level two certification so that they know 
how to use that tool and not be shooting in the dirt or over the top of the, um, they're hitting bullseyes or they're at least hitting on the target, right? If they can do that, yeah. you're not going to lose money on your first storm, no matter who you go with. I agree. Period. If if you flail around and if you've got a whole big stack of files on your desk and you're like waiting for tree bills on these, you're gone. You're a goner. Look in the for mirror sure. and you will find the person who is failing you yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Unions, it's, it's so disorganized on our end that I don't think that... I mean, I, I don't think the answer is organizing with a union sure. just because it's not like, I don't know. I, I think it, it just doesn't make sense. It yeah. just doesn't make sense. I, for our I'll industry. be the first to say, I don't think I'm educated enough on the topics of union that I won't comment on it to a degree. But from what I've seen, the overwhelming response across the Facebook groups, take it for what it is is a no, Yeah, they don't want unions. Yeah. If you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like five or $10 per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning, then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection through your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your e &O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages better and cheaper, sign me up. There's only one company that provides e &O and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, AKA Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.